In this tutorial, I'm going to show you in Web Center version 20 how you can enable text content expiration. So first, let's navigate to our text library. We will search on a phrase such as ESCO. Pick my statement, such as distributed by ESCO. I can see here that there is master text along with some translations, and I can see that the statement has been approved. So in order to enable text content expiration, we'll need to add a new attribute. So I'll go to my attributes page, select new attribute. And then I need to add an ac attribute, which is expiry underscore date. I can give it a label such as content expiration date, along with a type of date and time. And I'll just toggle it on as a task specification from here. Now I need to add it to my form for my text statements. So what I'll do, I'll just add a new row, find my new attribute. Here it is. I can turn off hide time and just make it a date. I'll save that, navigate back to my text statement, go to my attributes page. I can see here's my new expiry date attribute. I'll select a date in the past, such as November 2nd. And as I save my attribute category, I'll now return back to my text information page. And you will see immediately that there's orange exclamation mark indicating that the content has been expired. So that's how you can enable text content expiration within Web Center version 20.